chamber. So VADS is basically like laparoscopy of the chest. Um, comparing it to traditional thoracotomies, which have a larger incision, spreading the ribs to get inside and directly visualize the surgical field, uh, VATS makes a very small incision, about two centimeters, to put a small camera between the ribs. And then in addition, we also make two other small incisions, about an inch or two inches long, to fit very thin instruments between the ribs and accomplish the same surgical procedure endoscopically using the camera to visualize rather than directly looking between the ribs. In terms of the patient's perspective, uh, what they recognize are the incisions are much smaller and the post-operative pain is significantly less. I think a fair amount of the pain from thoracic surgery comes from spreading the ribs, which we don't do with VATS. And of course, we need to, need to spread the ribs a fair amount with a thoracotomy uh, just to be able to see inside. So VATS was probably first started about 20 years ago, and uh, VATS was initially video-assisted thoracotomy where you made a traditional incision and to see some dark corners of the chest, you would put a camera between the ribs to look in these hard to see spaces. Over the course of years, the incision size for VATS has decreased significantly to what we now call um, true VATS. And that means there's no direct visualization. We're not looking through the chest wall to the surgical field. Everything we look at is on a video screen transmitted from the video camera. Uh, here at MUSC, the standard approach for treating non-small cell lung cancer that's early stage is the VATS approach. Uh, the ideal patient is a smaller, more peripheral tumor, but over the course of years, we've evolved to including much larger tumors, now up to 8 centimeters, and even more central tumors. The only patients that we do a thoracotomy are patients that require some type of reconstructive work. That would mean reconstructing the bronchus or reconstructing part of the pulmonary artery. There are numerous studies from decades ago showing the oncological, the cancer-related outcomes are just as good with uh, thoracotomy as they are with VATS. There are some hints, at least in the data, that VATS might actually be superior. The treatment with chemotherapy is much easier, better tolerated with VATS compared to thoracotomy just because the surgical trauma is less with VATS compared to thoracotomy. The uh, complications of VATS are all across the board better than thoracotomy. Um, if we look at the typical uh, post-op complications, mortality rate, uh, uh, myocardial infarction, DVT, UTI, pneumonia, they're all better with VATS compared to thoracotomy. Now, some of that's real, and some of that is patient selection, meaning patients that require a thoracotomy have bigger, more central tumors, so it might be something intrinsic to the disease, but most people that do VATS truly believe that because the surgical trauma is less, those patients will do better. The takeaway message is that uh, for non-small cell lung cancer, VATS resections is the standard of care. And if patients are receiving something other than that for routine cancers, it's probably suboptimal. We know the recovery is slower, the return to work is delayed, their ability to proceed on to chemotherapy when indicated is also delayed.